What's going on guys? I haven't posted a video in a minute, but I'm back for the better. As you guys know, it's been a crazy year, you know, 2020, uh, due to the pandemic, the protests, or even natural disaster. It's just been a long year, but I'm back for the better. And today, since I haven't posted a video in a while, I'm gonna update you guys on my fly training, right? As you guys see me doing all these edition videos, but I don't think I ever told you what's going on in my flight training, right? So I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And also I'm gonna give you guys uh, my opinion, my personal opinion on the aviation industry, right? You know, because of the pandemic, right? A lot of people, they don't know if they still should become pilots or not due to the uh, aviation industry being affected by the pandemic, right? So I'm gonna give you guys my outlook and my personal opinion on that. And that's about it. So let's get into it. I'm glad to be back. Let's go. Travel in. I want to start this video by telling you guys where I am in my flight training. As of right now, I'm a CFI candidate, right? I actually have a check ride schedule on October 2nd. As I'm recording this video, it's actually Thursday the 24th, right? So hopefully by the time I make another video, I will be a certified flight instructor. So where am I going from there? After I get the CFI done, I would do the CFII, which is Certified Flying Instructor Instrument, and then I would get my multi-engine add-on, and I would be done and finally get my degree from Delaware State University. I actually have plan of completing my CFI in April at the latest, but due to the pandemic, uh, you know, uh, the school school closed, uh, I wasn't able to get any flight training done all the way up to June or July, right? But hopefully, I mean, thankfully actually, you know, we got everything slowly getting back on track as far as flying and I have a check ride schedule and I will be able to get it done and move forward with my flight training. And I'm actually curious, if you're watching this video right now and you're a flight student, can you please comment down below what procedures, you know, your flight you know, your flight school having you go through due to the pandemic here at dsu we have to get tested twice a week so we get a covid 19 test twice a week uh before we go to the airport we have to fill out this questionnaire you know as far as indicating whether or not we have symptoms and stuff like that we got a temperature check and at the airport we have to have a mask on we need to fly with our mask on and goggles actually and gloves right and when we don't fly we have to go into the airport get this cleaning kit and wipe down you know we have to wipe down pretty much the interior of the airplane you know the controls uh vionics you know throttle all that stuff we have to wipe it down disinfect it and make sure it's pretty much clean and pretty much clean all the germ basically so those are the procedures you have to we have to go through uh, as far as flight training is done and if we have to do a ground lesson we no longer do it at the school we actually have to do it online whether it's, it's a zoom call or facetime with joining yeah. the instructor right that's really what we do now and i'm curious and i want to know your experience as a flight student uh whatever school you're going to uh comment down in the comment section so now let me so now let me give you guys my opinion or outlook on the aviation industry. And that's pretty much me answering the question, is it worth becoming a pilot today? Or is the pilot shortage over, right? As you guys know, due to the pandemic, a lot, there's a lot of layovers of pilot or furlough right, in the industry. But long story short, to keep it brief, I still believe you know, it's worth becoming a pilot today. I think the pandemic put, you know, like a bandage on the 
on the shortest situation, you know, with pilot being laid over, waiting not being furloughed. But all this stuff is temporary, right? Eventually, travel will turn back to normal. And when that time comes, it's actually, the pilot shortage is actually, will be worse. That's my opinion, right? I think it's actually gonna become worse because if you think about it, due to the, a lot of pilots went into early retirement, right? A lot of the workforce went to early retirement. And prior to the pandemic, there was already uh, a pilot shortage. So now when you think about it, when we, we return to normal flight and people going back to uh, normal flying, right? We will actually now need more pilots. Once all those pilots that was whether furlough or lay over comes back, right? we will still need a whole lot more pilots. Also, the business aviation side of things is picking up. A lot of private jet companies I actually gain more business due to the pandemic, right? So I still believe it's worth becoming a pilot. Actually, actually, I believe it's time to double down on the aviation industry. If you if you're considering becoming a flight, uh, becoming a flight attendant, or not necessarily a flight attendant, but thinking about becoming a pilot, I think it's time to double down because let's say you start school today, right? You start school today and it takes about four years to get a bachelor's degree right I believe within four years flight will return to normal and that will actually be the preferred opportunity for somebody who started flight training today in four years to have an opportunity to uh, it will be much easier to become a flight uh, to become a pilot pretty much and that's pretty much my take as far as the rest of the industry many other jobs or as far as flight attendant or you know other position i have no idea how that's gonna work out honestly but if there's one thing for sure as far as pilots are concerned i believe that it's still worth becoming a pilot right even though the pandemic the pandemic is kicking the airline industry right now so if you're watching this video if you was thinking about quitting, don't quit. Double down, finish your flight training, and you will become an airline pilot or whatever pilot you think you want to become, right? If you're like me, you know, if you're a CFR or a commercial pilot or just in the aviation industry, I want to get your outlook. What, what, I want to get your opinion on things or how you think the future going to look like in the aviation industry, right? And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. You know, pretty much giving you guys an update of far as what's going on with my flight training and my outlook. And since we're talking about outlook, next video, I want to give you guys things to consider when picking a flight school, right? If you're watching this video and you thinking about going to flight school, I want to drop some tips or, you know, things to consider when picking a flight school why you should pick one over the other and give you guys my opinion, my, my reasoning for choosing the Ohio State University and things that I wish I knew beforehand, right? Last but not least, rest in peace to Brianna Taylor. All right, you guys see this in my background. It's been 194 days we was waiting for that verdict and she did not get the justice she deserved, right? It's a sad day for us in America. But you guys be safe out there going advice still going on all right thank you for watching this video like comment subscribe i would greatly appreciate it see you guys next time for the tips or things to consider when picking a flight school love y'all let's go travel in